Hi, I'm Dr. Shah. I was the National Lecture Competition winner in 1989, and I'm the Maths Master at Maths School. Now, ready for a new way of doing maths? Now, there are three different cases in which we'd need to calculate the median. The first case is if we have a list of data. The second case is if we have a table of ungrouped data. So that would probably be discrete data, something like um, the um, number of times you went to the cinema or number of seats in a car, things like that, things which can't be 3.12 or something like that. And then three, a table of grouped data. And the method we'd use would be different for each of these. So in this case, we've got um, the marks of a class of students. Um, and so four of the students got between naught and five marks. 18 of the students got between five and 10 marks and so on. Now this data has been grouped. So if you take those four students who got naught to five marks, we don't know anymore what they got. Maybe one of them got two marks, another got five marks, maybe another got three marks. We won't know because the data has been grouped. So we can't actually find the exact median. All we can do is now estimate the median. And the way we do that, first of all, is we have to change it to a cumulative frequency table. So we change it to a cumulative frequency table. Now on the top, it's slightly different this time. It's the upper class boundary. So it's the top number of each of these classes that we want, the upper class boundary. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And at the bottom, it's again still that capital F, which means the cumulative frequencies. So the first one is just four. The next one is those two added together, so 22. All of these three added together, so 44. All of these added together, so 71. All of those added, 90. And then the last one makes it 100. So in this case, N, is 100. That means there were 100 people all together in that data. And we want to find the median, still the half brackets m plus oneth value, which is going to be a half 100 plus 1 value, which is going to be the 50 and a half value. Now this time, because n is large, Although we're supposed to be finding the 50 and a half value, if we just approximated it as 50, I don't think anyone would really mind that much. So when you have a large sample, say bigger than 30, then if you approximate it, instead of finding the 50 and a half value, if you just round it off to the 50th value, that would be acceptable. Now to find the 50th value, we don't use the same method as we used for our table of ungrouped data. We don't just look for 50 in the table and then read up. We actually want to find out what the number is in between these. So to do that, we have to draw a cumulative frequency curve. So to draw our cumulative frequency curve, we're going to have um, the upper class boundary here and our frequencies here. So the first upper class boundary is 5. So 5 and the frequency would be 4. The next one is um, 10 and 22, so 10 and 22 and so on, and in that way we're going to connect those points together to form a curve. And I've done one for this data already here to show you what that curve would look like. Okay, so I've plotted those points and connected them together to form a smooth curve. And the last point is when x is 30, y is 100, which is that point there, and from there the, t the curve goes flat. So it goes flatter as, as it reaches the top. And it, you can see over here, I've written that n is 100 to mark where the curve finishes. Now, I wanted to find the 50th value. So the 50th value would be here at 50. And so what I need to do is connect a line across that curve and then down to work out what that 50th value is. And again, I've done that on a separate graph. And you can see from my graph that going to 50 on the y-axis, across to the curve and down, gives me an answer of 16, so the median for this data is 16.